All right, this here is the bottom, well, I don't know, I guess the support pan for the, uh, the water and the gas bottle. The black uh, holder sits on top of this. So that's what I'm doing now is just painting it. And I just did the underside, but got to do the top side here, and uh, then that'll be finished. So one more piece of the puzzle we're going to be done here shortly. Okay. And that's another label saved. <clears throat> now I gotta get this one there. Now I gotta get this one there, these two over here. Now I can prep this and get it ready for paint. Probably not gonna do it today, but Okay. <sighs> it's not going to be perfect, but what they want for new labels and stickers is ridiculous. No, that wasn't very good. I, maybe I can get a another piece over that. I'll try to make it as nice as possible, but I should have my reading glasses on, I don't. Didn't bring them out with me. Uh. 
All right, that one's done. I think you get the gist of it. I'm not going to record everything. It's a little boring, so we'll get back to you later. Morning, YouTubers. Uh, this morning, I'm, this is the battery box for the wood miser sawmill, the cover. And you can see, I don't know if it's showing it, but it's really rusty here at the bottom. And I'm getting ready to paint it, so I'm going to prep it for paint right now. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Okay, now this isn't, uh, this is the original cover, but I modified it years ago. I put these two holes in here, and that was to run a, a ground cable and a power cable from the battery. In case the battery went dead, I could just hook jumpers onto it and raise the head up so I could get it out of the way to get to the battery. But uh, there are other ways of doing that, but... Uh, pretty rotted here at the bottom so I'm hoping I can save it uh, anyway I'm just going to clean it now and then sand it and, uh, and then I'll paint it so I won't bore you with all that I just wanted to show you clean the bottom off here and I'm gonna sand this in here get it good and clean and and I might reuse them I might get some grommets and put in there which I didn't have before and I but anyway, that's going to be it for now. Okay, I'm installing this, well, it's a, to read the uh, scale, I'm installing that on. You can see the difference between the original color and the new color. Anyway, it's quite a difference, but hey, it is what it is.
Okay. That was an easy put together. But anyway, that's what it's going to look like. <clears throat> like I said, it's it's not the best, but it's better than what it was. So what I'll have to do then after I get everything together, and I'll have to reset that. That could be off a little bit. I'm not sure, but anyway, that's going to be it for now. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a quick look at what it's going to look like. I don't have the cover up, the, the cover on this yet. I got to put that on. I got to get new bolts for that. But uh, actually, I adjusted this so that this wasn't hitting this anymore. But the problem I think is is that the belt needs to replace it stretched out. It's maxed out to its max and. So I got a new belt I'm putting on it, so I'll be doing that today also. But anyway, that's this is where we're at right now. And uh, hopefully it's just going to get better as we go. Uh, now, this is going to be the same way. The front is going to have the old paint on it, the doors, because I don't have decals to replace this stuff with, and you can't get them anymore. It, the mill's too old. It's 30 years old, so. You know, I'm just doing the best I can. Now, these these covers here will look just like this as far as color. But, and this used to be, this knob here used to be orange. I painted it black so you could see it better. Uh, I guess when they make them, they don't, they just paint everything orange because it's, they get too much detail in it. And, takes too much to paint them in. And time is money, so I get it. But anyway, what I'm going to start on now is, well, I, I did this yesterday also. I started to paint the, the trailer part, so there's the hitch. And what I'm going to do next is that leg there, I'm going to raise it up. I'm going to weld the cap on the end of it, and then I'm going to paint it. And then we'll move right on down the line. So I'll bring you along with some of that. That's it for now. Okay, YouTubers, I forgot to turn the camera on. I just fit this plate in. I did one weld on it. Uh, you'll get to see me weld the rest of it, I guess. I don't know how many fires going on around here. This isn't exactly a wild shot. Don't need the noise. 
Rangers. Alright. Oh, there you go, I just caught you. Yep. Anyway. That's what it looks like. Nothing to write home about, but no water will get down in it or bees. But anyway. That's going to be it for this one, so later. Okay, I'm going to paint the front outrigger now. I just got done welding the top the cap on, so. Doesn't matter if I get any paint on this, it's going to be all painted over anyway. Okay, a little bit up here yet. Okay. Now once that dries, I'll drop it down and then I'll get the lower part. I can't take that one off. That's I'd have to cut the, the base off of it and then re water it on. I don't want to do that, so too much extra work. But anyway, that's uh, that's what we got now, right now, so get back to you.